Welcome especially to all of our new students. You may have heard otherwise, but California does, in fact, here in the South, have seasons. We have a four whole days of winter that, trust me, will come. But Claremont, soon, like not today, but soon, uh, it's going to be a great place to witness a Claremont fall. There are some 23,000 trees in this city of varying species and ages. And as weeks go by, we will see them turn into amber and sepia and scarlet. But of course, the leaves aren't all the things that will be turning. Pages of books, you will also turn from whatever color you think might enrapture or embolden you now to something like the deeper golden hue of the years that lie ahead. You are here at this particular season because a certain tilt of an axis or an orbit, family, teachers, friends, your successes, even your defeats, were your axis and orbit that brought you here to this almost autumn morning. And just take a moment, make whatever kind you want to face you want to make. It should be something, yes, completely exhilarating, relieving, and absolutely odd for you. No one's really taking me up on that. <laughs> is, is this the strangest face you can make? You could do it behind your hands or something so nobody sees it. But if this is the strangest you can get, you guys have a lot to work on. <laughs> and the stranger you feel, which I hope you will feel stranger and stranger each day, that's an index of how much you belong here. Because this is a community of people who can embrace their differences from each other, their differences from themselves from day to day, and they can embrace the idea of change. That what feels right today isn't going to feel the same way tomorrow. You're going to be estranged from yourself, estranged from each other, estranged from your communities. You're going to still, though, find your footing. And you're going to build new relationships with people who are so, so strange. And you're going to get your first grade that's not an A. And now feeling a stranger. But remember, this is your place and your season. Because you're ready for it. Ask for help when you need it. Place your feet firmly on the ground. And as you place your feet here, remember three things. Lesson number one. Nothing ever stays the same. So be fully present to the moment. These years will pass sooner than you think, so pay close attention. Take a class with an intriguing title, even a class that might scare you. Be a student of the beautiful around you, whether it means looking at a new face, taking a blanket and a book and spreading out on the lawn, come back to this gorgeous hall for concerts, because this season will be over. And what you hold back, you will lack. So this is also a first for many of you. For some of you, this is the first time you're out of your home state or your home country. For others, you're the first in your families to go to college. There's excitement and a fair share of nerves. But listen to Wisdom's Whisper. There is, in fact, a season for everything. This is your season, your time of reflection and listening. So, lesson number one, nothing ever stays the same. Lesson number two, autumn colors are glorious. So go do the most glorious thing possible, which I believe is when you crack your heart open as widely as you crack your mind. Intellect is what got you here, 
And that is naturally the focus of a college education. Your minds will be burnished and polished until they glow even in a dentist's room. But, as someone said, maybe a preacher in the 1890s, the use of intellect without love is one definition of evil. Your mind will be pushing the limits of possibility at the same time that your heart burst out of its banks. Let it overflow with the possibility and reality of doing something good. Starting now, use this gift of intellect, of education, for the benefit and betterment of everyone around you. Mentor a kid or volunteer and minister of school, work to home with the homeless in the communities around us, involved with the community through the Draper Center. The word we inadequately translate from Greek as compassion means to be so moved by something that you feel it strongly in your gut, as if it's just turning. If your gut actually is turning, please leave, walk to the health center, <laughs> get diagnosed, and come back. You get the message. Let the very center of who you are turn. Let the deepest part of you be moved. Intellectual rewards are certainly exquisite. I'm standing here today because I believe that. But the truest glory does not lie in your brightest thought, your best essay, your best published research, a landmark discovery, or performance. What's truly glorious really is compassion. So, one, things change. Two, grasp what's truly glorious. Three, Remember, autumn is a time of harvest, bounty, gratitude. Communities around the globe have some form of a harvest festival, some celebration of what has come to fruition after the long, hard work. There's a mid-autumn festival in China, the Jewish Sukkot, South India's Adnam, Mahragan in Iran, and the United States and Canada Thanksgiving. But a much greater harvest awaits when you get to graduate. Still, the fields are right right now. You worked very hard to get here. So feast. Enjoy Frary and Frank. Enjoy the beauty of a liberal arts education served up just for you. The season is, as Robert Browning writes, a good, gigant, gigantic smile of the brown old earth. Now, you'll definitely be earning your degrees, but take delight as you do it. Revel in all that is beautiful around you. As you get to know me, you'll realize that I am a poetry addict. So I'm going to close this out with a poem by uh, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. It's all a farce, these tales they tell about the breezes sighing and moans astir or field and dell because the year is dying. Such principles are most absurd. I care not who first taught them. There's nothing known to beast or bird to make a solemn autumn. In solemn times when grief holds sway with countless distressing, they'll note the more of black and gray will then be used in dressing. Now, purple tents are all around. The sky is blue and mellow, and even the grass, grasses turn the ground from modest green to yellow. The seed burrs all with laughter crack on feathered weed and jimson, and leaves that should be dressed in black are decked all out in crimson. A butterfly goes winging by, a singing bird comes after, and nature all from earth to sky is bubbling oil with laughter. The ripples rumble on the rails like sparkling little glasses. The sunlight runs along the hills and laughs among the grasses. The earth is just so full of fun it really can't contain it, and streams of mirth so freely run the heavens seem to rain it. Don't talk to me of solemn days and autumn's time of splendor, because the sun shows fewer ways and those grow slant and slender. Why? It's the climax of the year, the highest time of living, 
till naturally its bursting cheer just melts into Thanksgiving. All right, happy fall, fortunate fall. Don't fall too hard, someone will pick you up. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good time together.